Hey guys, uh, Willie here, Outdoor Freaks. Today we're going to review the uh, Leverage 51, uh, it's just a 5100. This is the 5100 Hang On Tree Stand. Um, Leverage Tree Stand Company, they're pretty new to the market. Um, they are semi-famous for, number one, their Speed Ladder, which is a portable uh, tree stand, ladder tree stand, if you can believe that. And number two, this cast aluminum platform. Um, Similar to that of the Lone Wolf, if you've seen or handled a Lone Wolf tree stand, um, you notice that their platforms are one piece. Uh, same goes with the uh, Leverage tree stand. And, um, you know, there's there's a number of things I like about this stand. Number one, you get a lot of features for a pretty good price. Um, you know, this, this stand roughly costs around $150. Uh, obviously, you know, giving coupons and shipping and, you know, finding it used and stuff, you can get deals higher or lower than that, um, but you get uh, you get platform level adjustments here, and I'll show you how that works here in a second. Um, you also have a plate that moves as far as leveling the seat, which is new. I've never seen this done um, this way before ever. Uh, I think it's pretty slick. I think it's a little noisy. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's it's not completely uh, silent, but it, it does the trick and it levels the you know the seat up and down um, a few degrees, which is going to be good enough for any of those leaning trees that you have you know leaning up or leaning back. Um, and it, it's pretty slick. I, I think I'm going to like it. Now it weighs 14 pounds. Uh, the platform on it is 21 inches, 21 and a half inches wide, I think, and 27 and a half inches long. Um, it attaches via uh, one tree stand strap. I call it a tree stand strap. It's just like, uh, it's just a pull cinch strap like you would have on a U or um, on a uh, safety harness that comes with, uh, you know, the AT TMA safety harnesses. You slide it through the, over the lever and you, you cinch it tight. Um, it also clips in, which is pretty unique. I've never seen anything clip in to it like that before uh, as far as a tree stand. Um, the other thing that's pretty slick about it is the pad, um, you know, a lot, a lot of manufacturers skimp on the pads of their tree stands, and I was happy to see that this is a big, thick pad, uh, waterproof cover and everything, so you'll be fine there. Um, and it also just uh, connects via one of those plastic quick connect straps underneath. Um, and really, you know, that's about it. Uh, you know, I mentioned it, it straps around the tree. It only comes with one strap. I'm gonna be dang sure to use. Uh, the second strap on the bottom, I'll use another uh, ratchet strap or something just because I want two points of contact um, when I'm up in the tree. I'm not sure if it helps or not, but it sure makes me feel safer. Um, this other thing is that they've uh, really been selling on this product is the two post system. Uh, you know, the Muddies and the Lone Wolves, they both have one, they have one post coming up from the platform. And the, the downside of that is that it's easier to kick out. You know, if, uh, if you're coming, if you're swinging into your stand from the side, you only have one, you know, point of contact from your seat to the platform. If you're coming and you have two, there's a better chance that this is going to be on the outside and it's going to catch on a tree, catch on the tree that you're climbing into, um, and it won't kick out. So, you know, that's obviously beneficial. Um, trying to think. One thing this doesn't have that the Lone Wolf stand has um, is it doesn't have a bow holder. Um, cast into the platform. Uh, this is just what they call a honeycomb platform and um, you know it's just like the one wolf except that it doesn't have that uh, bow holder. Um, that's really about it. Now I will show you um, some of the cutaways and some of the close-ups of the video or of, of the back of the stand as far as how it connects to the tree and the leveling features. Uh, go to the site and check out the rest of the view for all the close-up pictures and everything. Um, I appreciate you watching. OutdoorFreaks.net. Check it out.